Tonight, some Steel Valley parents are upset as the district switches gears. Hello and thanks for joining us at 730. I'm Megan Schiller. In two weeks, the Steel Valley District will move from full virtual learning to a new hybrid model. Here's exactly what that's going to look like. Students will attend class for five half days. The maroon group will go in the morning and the gold group will report in the afternoon, Monday through Thursday. Friday is going to be a half day of remote learning for all. And students choosing remote learning can stay virtual for all the days and not go in person at all. Joining me now live over Zoom is Steel Valley parent Amanda Ward. Amanda, thank you for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Thanks for having me. As a mom of three little kids, what do you think the biggest concern is for you and other parents in your situation? I think the biggest concern for myself and at least the parents that I have spoke with is the amount of hours that they are receiving instruction from their teachers. Um, you know, as it is right now with the full remote, they're getting 24 hours a week of live instruction from their teachers. And I couldn't be happier. I feel that the teachers and the school district have done a wonderful job with that, making sure that the kids have the resources they need and everything. Um, but going from 24 hours to 12 hours is cutting their, you know, their time with live teachers in half. And that is just not acceptable. What other challenges does this give for parents who work full time and that are possibly anticipating another change in the future to the schedules? I mean, it's an incredible amount of you know, difficulties for these for these families who, you know, where there's two parents that are working. I don't I don't know how some of these families are going to get their kids to school in the middle of the day. If you work full time or even, you know, part time, if you work an eight to two thirty shift, how are you supposed to get your kids to school at eleven twenty four in the afternoon if you don't have, you know, other help around other family members, neighbors, friends? that can offer transportation. Have you had an ability to share your concerns with the school board and what would you want the board to know? Yes, I have. Um, I voiced my opinion on Facebook, which is something I usually don't do. Mm -hmm. um, I sent an email this morning, which I did get a um, fairly vague response to that. Um, you know, but I think that the biggest thing that they could do for us and for our kids, most importantly, is to be a little bit more transparent and communicate with us, listen to our concerns before making a decision. And Amanda, is there even a petition I'm hearing? Yes, there is, which I didn't know about until yesterday. Do you think you'll be signing that petition? I did. Well, Amanda, we appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us and to voice your concerns. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us.